I honestly don't know that I do a lot of things that are unique as a teacher. I think that being an effective teacher is a little bit like being a blues musician in that uh, you are constantly stealing things from other people that you like. And uh, I think that, you know, just like a good musician, what you ultimately do is you, you build up this repertoire of things that you've taken and repurposed from somebody else and it ultimately ends up being your own style. I'm learning. I'm learning as, as I teach. And our students are so bright. When they catch on to that, it's a better experience. I've stopped lecturing for all intents and purposes and I show up in class well prepared, I should say, but I try to set up situations where the students are actually teaching themselves. When you're in front of those students lecturing to a class of 300 students, you have got to show them how much you're excited about the subject you're teaching. If they don't see you excited, then they don't see any reason why they should be excited. The unique approach that I take, particularly with our IE students, is getting them to start with who they are what their interests are, what their career aspirations are, rather than teaching in a top-down way what my discipline is or what theories of the discipline are. So it's a very inductive or entrepreneurial approach that says, let's go out and find what students are interested in and use that as a way to get them to look at disciplines and look at great ideas and, and, and come to know. So I like to use music and film in my classes because I think it brings to life the issues that students are learning about. And artists do a wonderful job of exploring in rich detail the kinds of social problems that we're faced with in the past and currently. And I think music and film and art also can help inspire students to go through the door of their own understanding in a way that a lecture can't. So my unique approach to teaching accounting is to teach students to reason both in a forward and backward direction. Both types of reasoning are important because when those students enter the workforce, they need to not only be great accountants, but they also need to be able to think about how a business needs to be run. I really want people to learn how to ask questions or even if they just come off the top of their head and then they get refined and say, oh, I could study this. I could, we could learn more about this. So asking questions is important. How lucky can you be to have lived a long and prosperous life, right, frankly, uh, and, and to wake up every day going, I'm looking forward to going to class today. I'm looking forward to preparing for class. I'm looking forward to sometimes even reading the papers that the students write, like creating the exams that they write. I've got a job and a career and an opportunity, a vocation, whatever you want to call it, that really enables me to have a lot of fun every day and to always be looking forward to the day. We all know that all faculty members have to keep up to date in their work. So they do research in pushing back new and finding new knowledge and they write reports and they write articles and each faculty member expects to do that but we always forget that the reason we are there is the student and if ever we don't give the student our very best efforts then we've lost the purpose of why we are there.